everyone and welcome back to another Tuesday tip where in this video we're going to be teaching you how to build a BMX dirt jump from the very beginning to about the very end of the process. We're going to build a whole jump today, lip and landing, and I'm really excited for it. All right, so the first step to building a dirt jump, beer. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say, you ruined it. <laughs> the real first step is figuring out where you're going to put it. And, and we kind of figured it out a little bit. I mean, the general idea, right? Yeah, pretty much. We're just, back in the day, I used to mark it with stuff we was going to bury, but we're not going to bury nothing. Today. Yeah, we're just piles. We don't want to use logs because the logs end up they're rotten. And yeah. Cool. If you're doing what we're doing, we don't have to think about a whole line because it's already there. But if you're starting from scratch, you want to think about the whole rest of your line because this is going to be the beginning of it. Since we don't have to figure any of that out, we're just building another jump here. We're making a new first one. Yeah. I'd say the next step is figuring out where you're going to get your dirt from after you gather all your tools and stuff. And with that, we we're going to use all that. All this dirt on this side so we can get everything to drain, the, which would be the next That's thing you need to think about. Yeah, I was going to say the next step is the drainage. And so usually when you figure your dirt, where you're getting your dirt from, that's going to be your drainage. Yeah. Pretty much. So that's going to help our drainage go that way to that like natural dip there, kind of. Yeah. And from there. And yeah. Get some help. Get some help is step four. And then from there, I mean, we just start piling up dirt in the areas we want it to be. So I'm going to come back periodically to talk about necessary things, but we've got time lapse I'm going to set up for the whole entire thing hopefully so we're going to cut to that now there's the friends I forgot a little key part cleaning up the area too John's cleaning up the area a little bit making sure that there's not a bunch of stuff there gonna get in the way clean up the area have some friends helping and get to work that's the main thing back to the time lapse Sometimes this is part of the process too. You, you put it in the wrong place and have to move it. There's gonna be adjustments needed. If you get it perfect first try, you're really lucky. Coming together. That pile's uh, definitely more than two times as big as that pile. What's going on? Sorry. Just a quick update here. We got a pretty giant pile of dirt for our downside. The lip's getting bigger a lot quicker. That's looking pretty good. Ooh, I'm look at it from here. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so good. Progress is moving forward. The hills are getting bigger. And here's another thing you can do to help the process move forward. Pre-packing. It also helps you so you can throw dirt on top of that. Because if you don't, you're just making a peak. And it feels like nothing ever gets anywhere. So with this, you can stack it and you can pack it while you're stacking. And that gives you a base to go on so when you actually go to ride it, packs in quicker instead of being all loose dirt that has to settle. So we'll keep moving forward. So 
So once you get to a certain point in building the jump, you need to figure out if it's in the right spot, especially if it's in addition to a set of jumps that are already there. We gotta look at this transition here. <clears throat> and this is something that you definitely wanna figure out before you finish the jumps so that you kind of don't have to do as much dialing in. So it's definitely possible to finish a jump and then completely have to move things if it doesn't work right. And you want to avoid that. And at a certain point, you just kind of got to keep going and test it and figure it out. Once we get it as high as it needs to be, that's when we put the finishing dirt on there and the clean dirt and get it good to where we can finish it, pack it down and start hitting it and seeing if it's where it needs to be or if we do in fact need to dial it in. So we're going to keep building and we'll see you soon. All right, we've got these things to the point where we need to use this good finishing dirt like we've got right here to face them and finish them off. What you wanna think about when it comes to finishing a jump is making it so that it's smooth and ready to hit. Basically, the way I think about it is I'm trying to make this thing as smooth as concrete so that the lip, there's no transition from the ground to the lip and it feels like a perfectly smooth takeoff so that it's a smooth experience jumping it. It takes a lot of time and practice and just years of digging to figure out the technique of how you actually shape this thing so it feels good as a lip and figuring out the different shapes that a lip could be for how you want it to feel as far as something like a long and low goes or a short jump that's really steep so you jump it kind of like a spine. It takes years of practice, but if you just work at it and keep going and kind of trial and error with it, you'll figure it out and what I'm gonna do here is just pack it in too because it's a brand new jump. So I'm gonna pack it as I'm shaping it. And hopefully by the time we get that done, we'll have it finished and ready to come back next time and jump these things. So let's get to the time-lapse. Okay, so we got it pretty much done and lined up. Now we're gonna measure our first jump to see if we got it in the right spot and everything's good. 11 foot. So our old first one is 11 feet. How long do we think this one needs to be? I would say 10 or 10 and a half. 10, 10 and a half. <laughs> exact same. 11? We're good, yeah. Once we pack all this in and everything settles, we'll be perfect. 10 and a half about. Oh boy. Dude, that's perfect. That's like a perfect first one. Yep, water and packing. Yeah. And that brings up another good point. Once you get these things done, you wanna protect them from the weather somehow so you don't have to just come back and do this again. We use carpet here, so that's what we're gonna do. And I mean, at this point, it's just dialing things in. We put the work in to get it all here, put the dirt there. Downside too, the downside's pretty much there and it's waiting to pack it. Okay. So you're gonna rake it? Well, I'm over here for my footprints out of it. Yep. I'll go up there and measure it. Yep. Smack that in. A little bit more in the corner there because it needs a little bit. It's, yeah. It's all side. Bit now. So no. basically, what you're going to do to this landing now is the same thing I did to the lip. That's it. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing that you guys saw me do on the lip is what's going to happen to the landing. And then from there, you got to just smack pack it. Basically, what you saw me do, but repeatedly do that with watering in between a little bit of water so that you get it hard quick unless you want to wait to ride it and at that point it's ready to ride so i think that's how you build a dirt jump well, how are you good? right there yeah now tomorrow we'll jump it yeah <laughs> i wish yeah not tomorrow but it'll probably take a week a week warm weather we need some warm weather yeah to harden up 
warm weather in a week and we'll be jumping this thing so hopefully this helps you build a dirt jump it's really just about getting out there and putting the work